As the late Dean Martin said, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Pizza party wrestling fans, I am longtime independent wrestling fan, Robert. Pie hard was a, a great and exciting and fun and entertaining show. And it was my first time witnessing pizza party wrestling live. We started out with a bonus match. We saw Boomer Hatfield defeat Matt Kowski. I apologize if I got his name wrong. But then it was on to the main show as we had Oswald Project defeat E.M. Demorce. Demorce? Demorce? I apologize if I got his name wrong. In a pretty good opening matchup for the main show. Then in tag team action, we saw Oreo Oreo Speedwagon. I didn't get their individual names. Defeat the Atlantic City Scoundrels. I didn't get their individual names. Very good tag team match out of both teams. Up next was the Secret Santa Scramble, and out and which saw Molly McCoy dressed up as a hockey player. Uh, Brad Rush, who was supposed to be a cowboy. Russell K. Bash or. Bastard, I apologize if I got his name wrong. Dave Olger, I think I got his name wrong too. Uh, Dougie Munson, who was wearing the lit up Christmas sweater and came out to the late George Michaels last Christmas. Uh, Matt Vertigo and Ezekiel, can't remember his last name right now. But it wound up a secret seven way scramble. Say that three times fast which saw Matt Vertigo defeat Molly McCoy, Brad Rush, Russell, Dave, Dougie, and Ezekiel. A pretty good matchup. Next up in a Fans Bring the Presents match, we saw Rory Gulak do battle with KTB, Kyle the Beast. And among the presents, among them was, was a moose sign, a stop sign. There was uh, an HDTV, which um, Rory Gulak got put on that was laid on two chairs and that's how the match ended up ending and KTB got the victory. Also, for the first time in years, I saw cooking flour used and pff, that made quite a mess and I felt bad bad for um, for the ring crew cleaning that up with the, using the vacuum and all. Maybe that was the fastest way to do it instead of just sweeping it out of the ring. Uh, I got what other unwrapped presents they had had underneath. Oh, actually, they even used the, any, used the, the Christmas tree got involved, believe it or not, and I think uh, Rory Gulak got thrown into it at one point. And then, uh, they did go to intermission after that matchup, which didn't surprise me because I figured they gotta do a match like that and then clean up the ring. Then they resumed with a four-way matchup, which saw Sanchez, who entered the ring to Jose Feliciano's Feliz Navidad, uh, Kung Fu Janela, Switch Kid, Leroy Green, and Johnny Cockstrong. I'm, hmm, I'm guessing he was changed from Strong Cock. But, but um, the uh, matchup, we, we pretty good matchup, which a lot of comedy. There was one point they they were did a slow motion, slow motion spots. They did. Uh, I think there were some martial arts spots with Sanchez and Kung Fu Janela. I would have popped if Janela came out to to uh, Kung Fu fighting. <laughs> but the match went on eventually. Uh, Switch Kid Leroy Green defeated Sanchez, Kung Fu Janela, and Johnny Cockstrong. Next up, we saw Tony Deppin take on O'Shea Edwards. And by the way, uh, Deppin, who enters the ring to Starships, we built this city. I think it's safe to say we invented Pizza Party Karaoke. A very good competitive matchup which saw Tony Depp and defeat O'Shea Edwards. And then in another tag team matchup, we saw the American Murder Society, Steve Off and Aaron Bradley, Bradley do battle with Filipino Heat. Cabana Man Dan and I forgot his tag partner's name. And Filipino Heat came out to Hall & Oates' You Make My Dreams, where we had ourselves another round of uh, pizza party karaoke. <laughs> and then in the main event, we saw uh, the Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson, go one-on-one -on -one with Faye Jackson in an intergender matchup. 
a lot of interesting they, he, both of them, Faye and Chris, took it to each other. And there were so many moments where we thought it was over. Ooh. And it didn't happen. And uh, Faye Jackson eventually picked up the win as she did put Chris Dickinson down with a Mishinoku Driver. I love that move. I wish some people use that more often as a finisher. And that was a great way to cap off a, a great afternoon of action as the show started 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, personal notes, it was great seeing Mike McNicholas, Evan, uh, Lawrence. By the way, Lawrence, before I go any further, Lawrence, man, thank you so much for hanging on tonight. Selfie stick, which I forgot to take with me after Pro Wrestling Magic's um, We Are the Champions last month. And uh, I'm glad I got this back, but no, as of this recording, Lawrence, I have not put this to use again yet all right uh oh great seeing armand uh, who else did i remember so you really seeing in the crowd here but you know crowd wasn't too big i mean you know pizza party wrestling i don't know if you want to try to make pie hard or have a Chris a show in december maybe Maybe try to have it a little sooner instead of having it, you know, just days before Christmas. I think that's probably why uh, maybe the crowd wasn't as big as it was. Uh, we had ourselves a uh, one memorable quote. The new Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Claus for Christmas. Armand, when, uh, Faye, ja when Faye Jackson and Chris Tickets are about to, during their matchup. Well, Pizza Party Wrestling will be debuting in Tampa, Florida on, f yes, Friday, April 3rd, which is their first birthday, which, because they actually, you know, debuted in April of tw here in 2019. Um, I mean, you know, Pizza Party Wrestling, I think actually, I don't know who's, oh, I, no, I'm sorry, but I think of something else, but Pizza Party Wrestling was a pretty good show. I'll, I hope you come back to Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, and because I most certainly would come back. And uh, hmm, damn. Well, oh, by the way, yeah, it wouldn't be Pizza Party Wrestling without pizza, and they actually ordered from Dante's over on Main Street in Ridgefield Park. And one of the gentlemen who worked at Dante's was actually in attendance for the show. I guess he took the day off, unless he was gonna unless he started work at night or something and he actually won one of the raffle prizes and I forgot what the raffle prizes were but I didn't even bother either. but yeah you know they had like three different it was like cheese buffalo chicken and pepperoni were the only options of pizza and uh, I don't know how many pizzas they ended up ordering but no yes again pizza party wrestling this was a very good show and uh, Hope you come back to Ridgefield Park, New Jersey in the future, because I definitely like to come back. 